the Duke of Cambridge, who is Commodore in Chief Submarines, visited Argyle and Butte and received updates on operations from the members of the submarine flotilla. William also had a chance to sign the guest book on the same page as Prince Philip did in 1961 and Prince Charles in 1972. Captain Ian Breckenridge OBE, who is in charge of submarine training, welcomed the Prince. We were delighted to host our Commodore-in-Chief to open this fantastic and world-leading submarine escape training facility, he told the Scotsman. His Royal Highness toured the entire building, met training staff and students, and enjoyed some hands-on operation of the escape towers and wave generator. The Thetis building was named after the wartime submarine HMS Thetis which sank in Liverpool Bay during the Second World War. The submarine escape, rescue, abandonment and survival facility teaches students how to get to safety in an emergency situation in a submarine. It sports a simulator that can mimic a range of sea conditions and weather climates. It can be used for training so students can get an opportunity to learn the correct procedures of escaping from submarines and getting to life rafts in all kinds of weather conditions. Trainers can use it to get students accustomed to rain and thunderstorms and train them to get to safety in cases of emergency. The simulator also allows students to practice escaping from deep waters, which gives them a realistic training environment. Commodore Jim Perks OBE head of the Royal Navy Submarine Service, told the Scotsman, This visit has been an excellent and important opportunity to update the submarine service's Commodore-in-Chief on recent operations. It has also provided us with an opportunity to highlight the ongoing work on the Clyde to make the naval base the Royal Navy's Submarine Center of Specialization. These are exciting times to be a submariner at him naval base Clyde as we continue to shape the future of the service. Prince William also spoke to the submariners about the conditions and mental health in the armed forces.